Okay, guys and girls, I'm gonna attempt to show various ways that you can connect your iPad through a mixer and export out to a TV. Um, there's various ways. One of the best ways is to use what's called a Apple Audio Video Multiport Adapter. This has a port for charging your phone or iPad, it has an HDMI port and a USB port. So how I'm connected up currently is I'm connected using an HDMI cable that's actually connected to a wireless video transmitter, HDMI transmitter. So this, can, this end can actually connect directly to your monitor or your TV. I'm just choosing to send my video wirelessly to the TV. So whether you connect it to the TV directly or connect it to a transmitter as such, it's all basically the same thing. Um, you're sending an HDMI signal out. Now, in addition, this is a Yamaha MG10XU mixer which also has a USB port on the back. This is just one of many ways that you can actually send this audio to the mixer. It's through a USB cable connected directly to the audio video multi-port adapter. Excuse my birds, they wanna get in the video too. Um, so let's test this out. I'm using Carafun and with Carafun, it has thousands and thousands of songs. We choose. Let's see if it works. So you all who know the song, you can sing along. <laughs> LOL. Exclamation point. So you can see I am getting audio out of the speaker. My birds are trying to sing with me. And you see the karaoke words are being displayed to the television. So that is one way. Connecting USB into your mixer. You're gonna send clean audio straight from the iPad straight to your mixer. Let's pause this. Another solution I have is to, maybe I'm in a big event. Um, maybe it's a large size party and my speakers or DJ system is located in one area and maybe the TV and iPad is located in a whole different area to whereas I did not want to run cords. Well, right here, I have one that's a receiver and one that's a transmitter. And so this connects up directly to the mixer. Let's see if we can do that. One end connects to the iPad. We utilize this one. We give it some power. And the other end connects directly up to the iPad. Give it some power. And you can literally have the TV and iPad in one room and your DJ system in another room and actually these Denons transmit through walls. 
So now, instead of the USB connection, I'm gonna use a USB sound card, and this is the 5HV2. And theoretically, it's hooked up to an eight inch, 3.5 millimeter connection. Hook it into the green. And that runs directly into the transmitter. And the receiver is connected directly to the mixer. So let's see if that'll work. Now, sometimes you have to take this in and out. I've got a signal here. I've got a signal here. Let's take the USB out. Turn the levels up. See right now, that's going to the TV. Plug it in. And currently no audio sound. So let's see what's going on. I can hear it a little, so that's my microphone, you guys. Let's take those ports loose. It took me a little to figure it out, but I just really needed to turn my levels up on the actual Denon transmitter, or receiver rather. Good clean audio, actually it's better audio than the USB connection. Or, let's stop it. That solution is if you're on one side of the room and let's say your television and iPad is on the other side or kind of distance away where you did not want to run cords. So you can do this wirelessly with video and with audio. Otherwise, you can plug directly into the mixer from the iPad. bypassing the mixer. And you see sometimes that iPad gives that little humming sound, but I think that should go away.
Okay, that's on the TV. So again, let's take this out. Put this back in. And now sound is going through the mixer. Get your levels right. Great way to do karaoke. You got various ways that you can do it. Um, if I needed to, I could plug directly from sound card to another audio source. The secret right here is that audio video multiple adapter and also the USB sound card. Like I said, this is a 5H V2. This solution will help you create a great, great party. So try it out. Always test before you go to a location. Test before you go to a location. Don't test at the location. You should uh, you should be able to go and set up and basically this is already pre-tested so that it doesn't prolong your time in getting set up at your location. I hope you enjoy it. It's a little wish-washy with me just trying to show three different solutions without pausing the video. But all the different solutions work. Thanks. This is Larry Ho.